we want to know go to Pat Clark, Jamaica Roots and Culture. Welcome to Jamaican Roots and Culture. I'm Pat Clark. Mention the name Devon House and it will ring a bell for most Jamaicans. Who was Devon and why is his house so important? Sitting on 11 acres of property, located in the heart of the country's capital, Kingston, is one of Jamaica's finest and leading heritage sites. This 127-year-old testimonial was built for Jamaica's first black millionaire, George Stiebel, the world's famous Devon House. Devon House is one of Jamaica's most celebrated landmarks due to its rich history and cultural diversity. It's a Georgian-style house that was built on a property once known as Devon Penn. Possibly that gave rise to the name Devon House. George Stiebel, the owner of the house, was a child of a German Jew and a Jamaican housekeeper. He was a carpenter, shipper, and gun runner. No, I did not say he was a gunman. He found his fortune in Venezuela after investing in a gold mine there. This beautiful property, with its rich history, is a lovely mating place for thousands of visitors that come by. Its environment is calm, covered in lush green lawns, high-rising palm trees, a water fountain, and a beautiful array of flowers which provides an atmosphere that soothes the mind and soul. It's the perfect place to take your family and friends. Not to mention the whining and the dining. Cobblestones and dinner under a mango tree lit by the stars is one of the most talked about spots on the property. A wonderful singer and band, impeccable service. What more can you ask for? The mansion offers an eye-filling tour which takes you through nine exquisite rooms. The ballroom, games room, dining room, palm hall, drawing room, sewing room, young girls room and a master bedroom. On your way through, you will be greeted with a wonderful mixture of furniture. The mansion is furnished with a collection of Jamaican, Caribbean, English and French antiques and with some Jamaican reproductions. Many dub it as a step back into the previous era. How exciting! The tour guides are well educated and the staff's customer service is impeccable. Devon House hosts a number of shops and dining places which appeal to the likes and interests of both local and international guests. Its number one stop is the Devon House ice cream, which is known for its numerous flavors and a household name across Jamaica. The brick oven is well known for its bakery and pastries. The brick oven is well known for its bakery and pastries. Its Jamaican patty is said to be delicious. Other famous dining spots include the Grog Shop, which offers a combined menu of both local and international cuisine. Norma's on the Terrace is also found at Devon House. It is labeled as one of the top 60 restaurants in the world. It is labeled as one of the top 60 restaurants in the world by Condé Nast Travel Magazine. The list of shopping experiences goes on and on. You can get from liqueurs to body oils and perfumes as well as art pieces. The Devon House Mansion is capable of accommodating 250 guests. It can host weddings, fashion shows and various meetings from business to private. If you visit Jamaica's capital, Kingston, then a trip to Devon House is a must for snippets of the island's culture, history, and tantalizing cuisine. And now to end Jamaican roots and culture, here's our famous quotation from the black diaspora. Dependence had become a part of their second nature, and independence brought with it the cares and vexations of poverty. The words of Elizabeth Keckley. For Jamaican Roots and Culture, I'm Pat Clark. Yes, Devon House. I can't bet say Sanjay no know Devon House. No, Shamara no know Devon House. She a country, country. We you talk about country, she a country. Me know your tongue, girl, still. You, you know tongue, but you don't know dung as so. She know dung as so, but she don't know place so. Yes. 
and she, um, we must remind you that it's a black man that own it, yes, and there's a story about Lady Musgrave that we keep talking about it every time we mention Levan House, that Lady Musgrave, this white woman, never wanted to pass that house because it's a black man who owned it, according to the story. So they had to cut a road that she don't pass it, going to King's house. She, have to, she don't want to pass that house. Can you imagine that? <laughs> so they have to cut a new road, and now the road named Lady Musgrave Road. Ironically, ironically, Marcus Garvey have two property on the road there. Above Trafalgar Road, eh? Marcus Garvey have two property on the road. You know, so, yes, that's how the story goes. Okay.